Good evening. Property and gold stocks helped lift the local market sharply higher in volatile trade today. The Hang Seng Index was up 1.9%, while its shares jumped 3.1%. Total edged higher to $120.3 billion. Hong Kong share prices opened 0.98% lower following another sell-off on Wall Street amid growing worries over the U.S. economy and corporate earnings prospects. The Hang Seng Index was down 265 points at 26,847 at the start, but reversed course and ended up 502 points to close at 27,615. We are still having a lot of uncertainty on the U.S. economic, economic outlook and also the, U, uh, the China, the austerity measures. Uh, provided all these uh, matters are still unclear, we will see the volatility will be very high in the near term, especially before the FOMC meeting on the, uh, uh, in the end of this month. Local gold stocks are riding record highs of international bullion prices. Zhao Jin led the gainers, putting on 9.6% to close at $41.10. Commodities also traded higher. Changxi Copper rose 8.85% to 20.55, while Zing Yi soared almost 20% to 342. With crude oil prices still hovering close to the 100 US dollar mark, CNOOC vaulted 4.8% to 1390. Property plays chalked up more gains, Sanangge, Chang Kong, Sinoland and New World Development all up over 2%. Mainland banks rose for the second day running. China construction jumped 6.1% to 659. HSBC was still bogged down by the US subprime crisis, losing 0.3% to 12790. PC maker Lenovo Group skidded in heavy trade following a broker downgrade. It sank 10.4% to 588. The 10 most active shares, China Mobile gained 260. PetroChina, CCB and China Telecom were up 38 cents. CNOOC rose 62, HKX jumped 440. Red chips rose 1.9%, 8 shares up 3.1%. Shanghai A up 0.9%, Shenzhen A gained 2.3%. Taipei, Tokyo and Singapore were up. Singapore Airlines said today it is still talking with China Eastern Airlines despite minority shareholders' rejection of its offer for a stake in the Shanghai-based flyer. SIA said it will not walk away from the joint bid with Temasek Holdings and also will not get into a bidding war. China Eastern share prices bounced around today, finishing down 0.15% at 665. Analysts said there are lots of uncertainties in the airline's restructuring. Air China shed close to 1% at $10.10. .10. Its parent, China National Aviation Corp, had mounted an aggressive and surprisingly public campaign to woo shareholders with a higher offer. It has promised it would pay at least $5 per share if investors rejected the Singapore tie-up. Cathay Pacific, which has voiced support for CNAC, sank 0.74% to $20.10. HSBC Asia Pacific Economics Advisor George Lung has predicted the U.S. economy would slow down drastically in the first quarter of 2008. Lung said the question of whether it will go into recession will depend on the degree of its interest rate cuts. He expects the U.S. Federal Reserve to make a half percentage point cut this month and over a one percentage point cut for the year. He thinks local banks will follow suit. Wall Street plunged into another erratic session Tuesday as worries about the ec economy rose. The markets had traded high in the morning deal-making, but rapidly lost ground as disappointing news piled up. The National Association of Realtors said the housing outlook wasn't good. Its index tracking pending U.S. home sales fell a bigger than expected 2.6% in November. There was speculation that Countrywide may file for bankruptcy as it struggles to emerge from the mortgage and credit market crisis in one piece. The company denied the rumours, but its shares dropped 27.4%, the steepest decline since the stock market crash of 1987. There was talk of a corporate shake-up at Bear Stearns Company, another firm hit hard by the subprime housing crisis. James Kane announced his resignation as chief executive of the fifth largest US investment bank. Standard & Poor's equity analyst Matt Albrecht said Kane had to go. It was kind of a shock to some people that the firm uh, had these risks, risks out there and wasn't aware of them um, as it should have been. So I think, you know, from that perspective, um, you know, Mr. Kane might be viewed as, you know, tarnish some of his reputation as being a good risk manager. 
Late in the day, the chief executive of AT&T said the phone company was seeing some slowdown in its consumer businesses. That was the last straw for the market and sent stocks in the major indices tumbling. The Dow lost 238 points, or 1.86%, at 12,589. The Nasdaq was down 58 points, or 2.36%, at 2,440. Against the US dollar, the yen is at 109.33, the euro at 1.47, and the pound at 1.96. In Hong Kong dollar exchange rates, the US dollar at 7.80, the pound at 15.32, Canadian at 7.78, and euro at 11.47. That's Financial Report. Thanks for watching. Come on.